Now, the UN, UN Committee on Elimination of Racial Discrimination has today released its findings and recommendations on several countries it's reviewed, including the UK and Iran. Our correspondent in Switzerland, Imogen Folks, told us about the UK findings in the report. It's an interesting read because although much of the evidence reviewed by the committee was gathered really before the general election, before the very recent riots, one of the big concerns that the UN committee members have is what they call persistent race hate and race crime or incitement to, to a racial crime in the UK from politicians, from figures in public life. These could be in the entertainment industry, Sometimes politicians, as we know, who also do a turn presenting TV programmes and that they, they don't name names. Um, some people in Britain will, will maybe have an idea who they mean, but they say they're particularly concerned about this and that the, the UK really needs to tackle this because they say there's an absolutely clear link between this kind of expression whether it's online, on, on social media, or on television, or on a political platform, there is a clear link between that and the kind of unrest and violence that we saw in the UK in July and early August. So there's great concern about that. And there's also a longer term uh, concern, which has been expressed in earlier reviews of the UK, to do with what they fear is institutionalized racism within law enforcement. They want the UK to take a long, hard look at stop and search and set up an independent body to examine that and to look at allegations of, of racial profiling. Imogen folks in Geneva. Well, let's speak to Goon Kut, who is a member of the Committee on the Elimination of Racial Discrimination and the country rapporteur for the UK Review. Mr Kut, thank you very much for joining us here on BBC News. What are the findings that particularly leapt out for you? The committee uh, is actually comparing the situation in the United Kingdom when it was last appeared before the committee in 2016 and now. So what has been happening since the last time the committee issued its recommendations to the state party? And uh, um, given the, uh, especially the recent developments, the committee has raised a number of concerns and came up with a number of uh, recommendations related to those uh, concerns, uh, bringing to the attention of the authorities, uh, both the, uh, the UK government and the devolved uh, governments, uh, the issues that needs to be addressed and be taken care of. Give us a sense of what those concerns are, just briefly, if you would. Uh, there are a number of issues that is uh, that are uh, raised, um, uh, starting from the uh, human rights framework in general, legislation on racial discrimination, uh, racist hate crimes and uh, hate speech, the situation of national national human rights institutions. Um, participation of ethnic and other uh, uh, vulnerable groups uh, in political and public life, right to freedom of peaceful assembly, um, criminal justice system and juvenile justice system, among others. To, to what extent do you name those responsible for hate speech or inciting hate? Because some of them have public profiles. Uh, yes, that is one of the issues that was uh, raised uh, in the concluding observations. The committee does not name names because, as I said, um, our um, uh, analysis span a period of uh, a number of years now, and there are several uh, examples, cases, that uh, were raised and happened uh, throughout this period. So um, it's not the names as such that is important. It's what is important is the fact that there is a clear link between um, uh, public figures engaging in hate speech and what comes afterwards. Uh, that is 
uh, an incitement to hatred uh, that results in hate crimes. I'm and that I'm link is so clear that we really don't need the main names because when you look at the media, it, it, it's obvious that uh, uh, who is actually responsible and who, which public figures actually uh, do not uh, live up to their um, uh, 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 obligations. Yes, and some of those comments, of course, were around the recent riots that we've seen. Just briefly then, give us a, a sense of the kind of recommendations you're making for the UK to implement. Uh, actually, a number of levels are involved. The first level is, of course, the legislative level. If there is something missing in the legislation to take care of an issue such as hate crimes, we raise that and we ask the state party governments and responsibles to uh, uh, um, take initiative. Um, the second level is the policy level. Devise, implement, and more importantly, perhaps monitor and evaluate policies that are designed to counter the discriminatory effects of uh, um, the problems that were raised, the uh, uh, concerns that were raised. Um, and finally, uh, if possible, uh, take concrete actions and show political will because everything depends on the political will. Uh, if the government wants to achieve something, they have the means, not, not, not really anybody else. Gun Kut from the Committee on the Elimination of Racial Discrimination. Thank you very much. Thank you for having me.